from disabling these service options and to changing some specific Fortnite settings. Here are 10 quick and simple tips to boost your frame rates for any low and mid NPCs. If the video eventually helps you, please drop a sub to my channel. Alright guys, let's start off with verifying your game files. So what you need to do is firstly open up your Epic Games Launcher and go over here on Library. So scroll down to see Fortnite and just click on the three dots right here and just click on Manage. And over here you guys will see Verify Files. So just click on Verify. This shouldn't take you so long and this is the first tip. Okay guys, so the next tip I want to show you is by disabling some specific services. So go over here on the search icon and just type in Services. Okay, so there are some specific services that we need to actually disable that are constantly running in the background. The first thing we need to do is locate Bluetooth service, which should be right here, support service, and go over here on properties. And as you guys can see, the, the startup tile is automatic. So go over here on disabled and just click on apply and okay. The next thing we need to do right now is search for connected devices platform services and go over here and do you already know the drill do the same exact thing go to um, startup type and select disabled so go over here and select on apply the next thing we need to do right now is go the next thing we need to do right now is go over here on connected user experiences and telemetry for me it's already both disabled but for you it should be running so go ahead and disable it also Okay, so the next service we need to locate is Windows Insider service, which should be right here. So go over here on properties and select disabled. Go ahead and apply that. And the last service we have is Windows Mobile Hotspot service, which is right here. So go over here on properties and obviously set it to disabled. Make sure you click on apply, not just OK, because they will not save. All right, guys, the next thing we need to do right now is set your Fortnite priority to high. So make sure you open Fortnite and while you're running Fortnite, open up your task manager. So go over here on processes and scroll all the way down until you find Fortnite. So go ahead and extend this and right click this and click on go to details. So make sure you locate Fortnite launcher.exe. So go over here on the Fortnite launcher.exe and set your priority to high. Mine is already on high, so I'm not gonna be doing that. You simply click on high and uh, restart your game. Okay guys, so whilst I'm on Fortnite, I want to show you another stupid thing a lot of people do actually is go over here on your settings and select the cogwheel right here. So go over here on your windowed mode and select full screen. I see a lot of people using windowed full screen or even windowed in the worst cases. So some people use windowed full screen because they're using stretch resolutions, okay, but never in never and I say never actually use Windows full screen or even Windows because they give you a massive amount of delay. You're gonna see that if you just switch over to full screen, it's gonna be a whole lot smoother. All right guys, so another thing I wanna show you is go over here on search icon and just type in adjust the appearance of performance of window. So what you need to do right now is yours should probably be selected to like we'll let Windows choose what's best for my computer. But go over here and switch to adjust for best performance. As you guys can see, every single thing right here is gonna be unticked. So there's actually some things that need to be ticked. For example, animations in the taskbar, you guys should take that and save taskbar thumbnail previews. You guys should also take show window contents while dragging, also select that. And the last thing to it to do right now is smooth edges on screen fonts and go ahead and click on apply guys now another thing i want to show you is go over here again on search bar and just type in notifications and sounds go over here on the notification tab and just simply extend this and make sure you uncheck everything right here okay and once you guys have done that and, and check the notifications also and once you guys have done that what you need to do is go over here on additional settings okay and as you guys can see there should be some additional settings also and check them too okay guys so now let's switch over to your power plan so go over here and just type in power plan just like so and edit power plan okay so what you need to do right now is just go over here on change advanced power settings okay so i'm assuming yours should be set to balance right here what you need to do is just switch to high performance and again just click on apply and okay now another thing i want to show you is updating your gpu drivers so me personally i have an nvidia gpu so i'll just go over here and just type in nvidia so i would highly advise you guys download the nvidia app because you can just download your driver straight from here so as you guys can see i have not downloaded mine so what you need to do is just click on download but if you have any other gpus for example amd go over here and just type in amd gpu drivers 
and go over here on the first link right here it should be right here and as you guys can see the divers are right here so go ahead and just download them and follow the steps along now let's disable your game bar so i'll go over here and just type in game bar and game bar setting so once you guys are here make sure you uncheck the game bar and once you guys have done that go over here on graphics go over here on change default graphic settings and make sure you select the two of these right here so i'll go back to graphics and go over here on browse so now what you need to do is locate your fortnite folder and once you guys have done that it should look something like this fortnite client dash window dot windows 64 dash shipping dot exe so go over here on options and select high performance okay and make sure you select this now the last thing we need to do right now is simply deleting your temporary file what you need to do is just press and hold your windows plus r button and just go over here and type in temp and make sure you clear every single thing right here just what you need to do is just drag them and click on delete right here back and just do the same exact thing but put percent temp percent and just click on ok and do the same exact thing just delete them ok so you guys have done that what you need to do is just open it one more time and just type in perfect just like this go over here on ok don't worry what you need to do is just click just um, click on continue this is nothing to be concerned about and do that you guys already know the drill all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i really hope the tips i showed you actually helped you let me know down in the comments if they did so as always it's been your boy chopper and i'll see you next time